Welcome to a tutorial from Equator.com. This tutorial covers Casio Scientific Calculators FX115ES and Casio FX991ES plus C. Hello everyone. In this tutorial we are going to use uh, this Casio calculator to generate table of value for a given uh, function mm, and this is our function f of x is equal x squared plus 4x plus 32 when you generate table of value you have a range you want to generate a value for, let's say this function is plotted somewhere here and we want to generate let's say from minus 2 to 1 so one, two, three, four values we want to generate, or as much as you wish. It has a limit, but it can do pretty much, much enough values for calculation that we do in school. So let's do that. Press mode button, and then select number seven. I press seven. Now f of x is on the screen. So now let's enter x. To enter x, y, and other values, x is here, y is here, and some other values, all in red color. All these red can be accessed with pressing alpha or this red button. So I press alpha and x, and then square, I press square, square it, and then plus 4x, plus 4, and then alpha, x, plus 32. So, I press equal sign, it says g of x. Sometimes you need to generate table of value for two functions simultaneously because we don't have another function. I just press equal sign and it escapes. Now it's asking me for the start value. Let's say we want to start from minus 2. I press minus this minus, not this minus. This might as well work, but that's the best practice. Minus 2 and then equal sign. And here some value. I want to enter 1. Now, once I enter that value, it asks me for the step. Do I want to jump one each step, or you want zero point some value, half or something? So let's put one. So at one, and then equal sign. Now, it gives you all the value of x and the function. So for minus two, which we entered, the function is 30, 28 and then I scroll down for minus 1, it goes for every step. Minus 2, 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0, for minus 1 is 29, for 0 is 32, yes, it makes sense. This is 0, this is 0, so 32. So now for 1, when I scroll to this side, I can see it here and here. So, so we have four values. These are number of values, these are our x's that we selected with the range, and this is the value for the uh, result of the function. Thank you for your attention.